Good afternoon. My name is Claire Kennand. I'm the local policing commander for South West London, and I'm here to give you an update following today's tragic accident here in Wimbledon. We were called shortly before 10 o'clock this morning after a car collided with a building at the study prep school behind me in Camp Road. A large number of our officers were deployed to the scene, along with paramedics from the London Air Ambulance and, and London Ambulance Service. Our officers, along with colleagues from other emergency services, provided first aid to a number of people who had been injured. Very sadly, one of the children, an eight-year-old girl, died at the scene. Our thoughts are with her family at this incredibly difficult time. The driver of a car, a woman aged in her 40s, stopped at the scene and has since been arrested for causing death by dangerous driving and remains in police custody. This is a very difficult time for everyone here at the school and across the wider community. We would ask people not to speculate while we work to understand the full circumstances of what has happened during this tragic incident. But I will say we are not treating this as a terrorist incident. Our officers have already spoken to a number of witnesses and have viewed the CCTV. If anyone has any information, please either call 101 or speak with officers at the scene. Any information that can assist as we try to work out what's happened today. I will now hand you to Dr John Martin from the ambulance, uh, London Ambulance Service who can provide more details about their response. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm John Martin, the Chief Paramedic for London Ambulance Service. Can I begin by saying on behalf of the London Ambulance Service that our thoughts are with all of those involved in this morning's incident. At 9.54 we received a 999 call to a collision on Camp Road in Wimbledon. We dispatched multiple resources including specialist critical care paramedics, London's air ambulance and 15 ambulances. We declared a major incident and stood up a specialist operations centre. We treated 16 patients on scene. Sadly, as we've heard, one eight-year-old girl died. We conveyed 10 patients to hospital. We want to thank our staff who worked hard and tirelessly whilst on scene, and also to the school staff and members of the public who helped in those early moments. Our hearts go out to all those involved in today's tragic incident. I'll now hand over to Andy from the London Fire Brigade. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Andy Pennett. Uh, from the London Fire Brigade, I'm Deputy Assistant Commissioner for the South East area. I'd like to start by echoing the thoughts from John and Claire around this tragic incident and our thoughts go out to the study preparatory school, family and friends of all those affected by today's tragic incident. London Fire Brigade crews were called to scene this morning where they initially assisted by making emergency access for police and ambulance colleagues and then supported London Ambulance Service paramedics in administering immediate emergency care to members of the public that were injured as part of this incident. We are now prepared and will support the study preparatory school and the wider community through our community engagement function and we will also be supporting our staff who responded to this tragic incident. I'd like to close by thanking London Ambulance, Metropolitan Police, the local school and local community who all stepped forward to support everybody involved in today's tragic incident. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. I'll now take a couple of questions. Um, BBC News, um, I'm so sorry for all of you for what's happened at the school today. Um, I wondered if I could ask you um, just um, to give us a sense of sort of what was happening before the crash happened and what was the scene after and, to, and what you need to do in terms of the investigation. And if I may, to ask you, the Chair of Governors and the Head Teacher, I mean, this is absolutely devastating for the school. Can you give us your thoughts as to what this tragedy means for you, the parents and the pupils, maybe with the start of the year, if that's all right? As we uh, uh, you'll perhaps appreciate that the school community is profoundly uh, affected by this tragedy and uh, at the moment we're really not in a position to make any further comment about it. Um, we will be in communication with all those in the community about uh, the further steps that we as a school will take. Claire, it's going okay, to can I just ask about the investigation. What, how, how, what happened here? Do we know how a car 
could plough into a school on such a quiet road? That's what everybody wants to know. I don't think it would be appropriate for me to speculate. It's very early in the investigation and we obviously need to kind of unpick it. There's a lot of witnesses. Um, you can imagine the scene was very, very crowded, very busy, very chaotic. Um, and I don't think it would be appropriate for me to speculate. As I've said, we're not treating it as a ter terrorist incident, but other than that, that I can't comment any further. What can you tell us about the next stage of the investigation? I know this woman has been arrested, but what is your priority in the coming hours and days? Well, our priority will be to identify all witnesses, to get their account of what happened, um, to view the CCTV. Obviously, there's a person in custody that will have to be interviewed, and uh, from that stage onwards, we'll have to review the evidence and make a decision about what actually happened. But it's very early on. Was, early was this an end-of-term party? Are the, are, the, are the heads able to say? Was this, it looked like an end-of-term gathering? Uh, I, th I think we'll leave it there. I think we've taken enough questions. Sure, but I think that's good. Just ask on the, the severity of the other injuries. Are we to have well, uh, all I can say at this stage is that there are a number of people being treated with this. Thank, Thank you very much. Well. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.